Okay, I'm not gonna make that reference because it's way too obvious, but hey look, it's the Venomancer from Dota 2. Anyways, either way, she's gonna have the same first skill. Uh, does a decent amount of damage based on her max HP, and when it's skilled up, it's a 50% chance to poison for three turns, so it's 15% of their max HP over a three turn period of time. That ain't bad. Uh, but I'm seeing th two ways to build her. Either way, it's gonna be HP, 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 or speed, HP, HP, maybe. Yeah, probably speed, HP, HP. Um, but that's a that's an AOE, and that's an AOE, and two AOEs means desperation. Uh, so if you have a chance to stun on hit, and you got two AOEs, you're gonna get a lot of stuns. That ain't bad, uh, especially for the other world trials or any time where you need a lot of crowd control and damage over time effects, which is all the time. Um, second way would probably be on ideally berserk would be nice uh, but this is the big thing that a lot of people are using for a inspiring how not such a bad skill useful for um, dungeons so that if the defense and the crit rate uh, crit resist is good but it's only up two turns out of every four which isn't that great um, but one nice thing also to mention is this only has one skill up, so if you have a skill one and a skill three that you really want skill ups in and you're scarce on skill ups, if you have this one selected while you're skilling things up, it'll only eat one skill up as opposed to five skill ups for this one, so you'll max out your one and three a little bit faster. Anyways, um, this is the big thing that people use Venomancer or Hydra for. Um, 40% it goes up to a 60% chance to increase the duration by one turn for poison bleed and burn effects on the target And it's not one it's all of them So if you have say a Medusa and or a Popo that are just pooping out DOT effects uh, He's gonna magnify them by a whole lot if he's just working by himself He's only got one DOT and he's gonna increase just one at a time and it's still okay But combined with Popo oh, oh, he's good. He's, he's very nice um, and a 60% chance to increase all of them at the same time. Every time he attacks, put him on Berserk with high speed, um, that's not going to be bad. Uh, theoretically, you want him to go after Popo, um, or after whoever is doing the most damage over time effects, so that they can drop the effects, and then he can immediately increase the, the um, duration on them. If he goes first, and then Popo goes, and then the enemy goes and cleans off their one-turn DOTs, then it's not going to be useful. So uh, positioning is going to be really important there. Um, and realistically, that's the only... Uh, especially if you mix him with the Druid so that they're on counters, right? So Popo goes, drops a whole bunch of damage over time effects. He goes, hopefully uh, it lengthens them. And then after that, the Druid goes, gives everybody the counter ability. Then the monster goes, hits AoE, then Popo drops even more effects, and the Hydra increases them even more. Uh, it's, it's